Let's do business. Safe travels. Greetings, Rook. I am Air, one who provides training for Antivan crows. You're not a crow yourself? Not as such, but we are frequently at their service. That answer suits them, as it should suit you. Occupied. The insult of it. It's more than insulting. Insulting the wound. And that is my purview. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt. But more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? Forgive Taya. She gets testy when a contract is delayed. Neither of you strike me as a bloodthirsty sort. Our shared enemies deserve our worst. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord Butcher Dathrata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The Butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that. With the help of gods or... Something else. Despite it being the outcome, assassination is not about killing, it's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the Butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information? Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, killing him isn't the contract. You're in charge. Antiva has a king. And the power of a king is enforced by armies. Antiva has no army. It has the crows. There's a reason Antivan coins have portraits of guild leaders, not royalty. We're patriots. Crows can't field a battalion, but we protect our nation our way. Butcher Dathrata. What do you know about him? The Antam army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the Butcher himself is odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. The gods care about taking Treviso. The Butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Anta. But Antam distrust magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. Helping the crows helps everyone in the long run. What's the first step to your message? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something the Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drown district, so that's a place to start. Find our crow and help with his contract. Find your crow? Then what? We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the Drown district. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for one so young. 
Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. So I heard we're on a rotation for cooking? Uh, supposed to be, and used to be, but, well... What is it? Well, some of it's an acquired taste. So I tend to do most of the cooking, a lot of the time. The Antam ordered me out of my house. I don't have anywhere else to go.
So Spide doesn't worry you? Well, a little bit. But Rook trusts you, and so I do too. What if Rook's wrong about me, though? I am an assassin, a paid killer. Well, no one's paying you to kill me, so I figure I'm probably safe. True. Almost there. I can ground soon.
Everybody here used to sneer at Kanadi inside the bar. Now the Antam are in charge, and these horns are my ticket to better things. The Antam gave me a Kanadi name, Bash Batara. It means the blade strengthening fire. I'm glad I donated so much to Treviso's charitable causes. A good deed, especially when noted by the right people.
I noticed you weren't at the supper table last night. Are you not feeling well? Oh, uh... You noticed? I... well, I just... I wasn't hungry. Harding made her potato stew. Oh, oh, I had no idea that she was cooking. I didn't know that could happen to potatoes. It was a learning experience. It usually is. Hello there. Trouble ahead. Bellara, why are they called veil jumpers? What are they jumping over? It's more that we're jumping into problem spots and less that we're jumping things, in general. I wouldn't want the crows to start being called death climbers, is all I'm saying. Oh, okay. But what about death jumpers, right? Not even an army stops the Treviso market. So many things you could buy. How do you choose? Welcome. 
Your body is a sacred vessel, and I can provide you with the proper building materials. Let me know if I can get you anything else. Cafe later? Mm, good night for it. Your coin helps, and there's some good bargains out there for you. Come back soon. Wow! Even during an occupation, the market is still pretty busy. I meant to pick up more spices. Another time. Welcome. We've got all kinds of crystals here, both magical and natural. The Anthem almost shut us down, because they don't like magic. But once I explained the vibration of harmony... Come take a look if you like. Stay. We have all sorts of medicines here, for all sorts of people. I love how different cultures make things in unique ways. Anything here speak to your aura? Welcome to the Dapper Duelist. We favor light away. Fish. Uh-huh. In a duel to the death, everything matters, including fashion. Let me know if you need a custom fit. What?
Looking to attune your body to a higher level of health? Can I help you? Shinaden! That's how Kanari say hello. If the butcher cares so much for Treviso, he'll make sure we have the proper ingredients for this risotto. Welcome. Whether you're looking for functional blades or authorized display replicas, you're in the right place. Yes, of course. This is where Viago told us to meet with Dareth, the crow investigating the butcher. His cousin Jacoba should be here too. I know of them. The only two left of their family. So in the Veil Jumpers, I just started my carpenter's apprenticeship. Now Uncle and I are on the streets thanks to these Antam. I forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Mirda. So when the Veil Jumpers deal with a relic, who hires you? Uh, nobody? Who in a forest would hire us? That's exactly what I was wondering. How do you get your jobs? We figure out where reality's collapsing and go there. who still keep discipline. Country over there used to be the preferred meeting spot for our clients before the invasion. What was there before? Does anyone even remember?
Bunch of untamed stuff. They So this is Treviso now. Have some hope. The crows haven't given up. They won't last much longer if the Antom have their way. Please, you have to finish Derek's contract. It's about the Butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the Butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then... Someone has to finish this for Derek. Please. We will take care of it. Go back to the Diamond. I will, just... Just give me a minute. That note said Darith should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Teir and Viago. Just follow the marks. There will be a trail of marks left by previous crows. It will lead us right to it. I spotted something on the walls. Earlier, I mean. Let's go look. It's got to be Darith's trail. Keep an eye on.
Another mark this way. Here's another crow mark. Next crow mark. This is where the marks lead. Darth's contract must be here somewhere. The butcher is making poison. Comic. Comic? That stuff gives you nightmares. Chips at your mind. The mark of the butcher would be a good way to keep people in line. We cannot let the butcher unleash this on Treviso. He won't. The Antarm brought in a comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. We stop him there before this goes any further. <laughs> Good one! 